Steve, you get some time to work on some fine tuning after the last game where you guys uh, really put together a defensive effort. What do you work on in the last couple of days? Well, I think it's now it's it's refining. It's making sure that uh, we carry out some of the assignments we had in video this morning. We had a lot of teaching through video this morning and went out on the ice and just worked on a couple of different things. We know what Chicago is going to do. They're going to come at us aggressively and we have to be prepared for that. How valuable is that video assistance that you get and all the different clips that you, you break down? Well, we've wrecked the game is what we've done. We've broken it down to a point now where you, you know exactly what the other team's going to do. It's just a matter of executing. So, you know what, uh, the days of the Mike Bossies coming down the right wing and scoring are pretty much done. So uh, it's disappointing, but that's that's today's game. Were you a little worried that you had great starts, but the finishes have been kind of hanging on by your fingernails? Yeah, you know what, it's those 3 nothing leads. It's great to have them, but it'd be nice to get that fourth. And that at this level, and you look in the National Hockey League as well, you know, no lead is safe anymore with the way the game's played here today. So we want to make sure we keep our gas, you know, pedal down. I think that's important for our hockey club. We have some inexperience in that room. And when we get up like that, we want to make sure that we finish off the right way. What's the difference in getting Peter Holland back for this series? Well, what it does, it allows our matchups to be that much more dangerous because now how do you cover off Holland? How do you cover off McKeg and Trevor Smith? And so it just makes us that much more dangerous and gives us that much more depth up front. And he's an NHL centerman. I, I firmly believe that, and he backs people off. His, his skill set, his vision are elite for this level, and we'll enjoy him as long as we have him. Is he at the point in his career where he's almost expected to be a point per game guy? Yeah, and he wants to be. Our individual meeting with him, uh, he was very upfront and honest with me. He wants to be our go-to guy. and. I like to hear that from a player, so we'll give him those minutes and we'll expect that he can carry this team. What's uh, Jerry Demiga done for you in this playoffs and the team team's scoring grit and speed, right? He's a big game player. He, when you track back through his, his junior career and what he's done for USA Hockey, he's always been a big game player and he's doing that here with the Marlies. He's a guy that can elevate his game. Uh, mentally, he's very strong. He's very confident in himself and he's been, as I say, one of our most uh, useful players because he plays on every side of the puck. Not only does he play offensive situations, but when we're five on six, he's a go-to guy for us. His call up to the Leafs there, a bit kind of helped him with his confidence and focus his game? It did. You know what, I believe he needed that. He needed that personally. He'd been here for, for four years and hadn't had that opportunity. So to get that call and to be up there for quite some time, I thought did wonders for his confidence. And he knows now that he's close to being an everyday NHL player. Uh, you had David Brawl the last two games. Was that him being banged up or was that a No, it's part of our rotation. Uh, David's going to play tomorrow night. And um, it'll be great getting him in. He's a big body. He's physical. And he's a skilled player. So he'll be in tomorrow night. Have you been happy with the way he's progressed this year? Yep, absolutely. He's, again, I think on the radar with where he needs to be with his, his career and what he's going to have to do to play for the Leafs, and I'm very pleased with where he's at.